everything I wanted from those two guys we saw in episode one of season three is happening. I wanted them to link start. I thought they were already perhaps in the game through different Steel technologies, but like nah. They are basically mercenaries hired by the NSA to go in and um, take back Alice, right? Because Alice is the uh, most important technological revolution to mass produce, you know, AI soldiers for war, it's just an arms race. And right now, they're link starting into the dark territory as Emperor Vecta, right? Dark God Vecta and his most right-hand man, another Dark Knight. We got to learn more about like the Dark Territory structure. So it seems like they have their own Integrity Knights there. It's called the Dark Knights. And, and basically, they're good people, right? We have basically Ber Dark Berkeley and Dark Fanatio. And they don't want war. They want peace. But it's just due to the clashing with the church, you know, this wasn't possible. But they don't want bad things to happen. They're good people, just on the wrong side. And then there's the, uh, what's it called? There's also like a council of uh, uh, dark territory people that's supposed to be very problematic. Four of them are problematic. I think there's like orcs and goblins. And then there's like this dark mage group we have to be very careful about who is like on the Quinella tier because they've also figured out like the secrets to immortality. And then it's also kind of telling how similar Berkeley and Dark Berkeley is and how I got mistaked. Like Fanatio's backstory was, I thought Berkeley looking down, but it's actually Dark Berkeley. And the more I think about it, because there's also Dark Fanatio, I think that like Fanatio thought that Dark Berkeley was like looking down her for being a woman, but Dark Berkeley did not want to kill someone that looked like her potential lover, his potential lover, right? So I think that's what was going on with Fanatio background. Anyways, let's begin today's reaction. Gabriel. Gabriel? Is that boss? Budo? Bro backstory? I think it is, right? Mr. Miller? Don't do it, kid. What kind of kid asks these questions? What the fuck? Where is the mantis of soul? I don't know. Break open the head and find out for yourself. It's got a fucking floodlight in there. Oh, you monster! Okay. There's a childhood friend. Alicia. Alicia. Not quite Aris, but Alicia. Interesting. <laughs> hey, oh, remember? Remember his uh signature line? Your soul will be so sweet. So as a kid, he was always obsessed with like finding like what a soul is. Like what does the soul mean? So like this is all the everything that created Mr. Miller. <laughs> <laughs> You're so movie. That's so cringe, dude. That was shit was so cringe when he said it to fucking Shinon, bro. Oh shit. What is this? Alice Adventure in Wonderland. Again, more references to Project Adicization, because like Alice is supposed to be like you know Alice in Wonderland, right? <laughs> you think he cut her head off? And try to find her soul in, in search for it. Because like, this kid's... Something's not right in here, man. Oh, shit, dude. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Oh, my God. Oh, that's what that girl was. Because remember, in season three, we're trying to figure out who is that blonde girl you know descending from the heavens it was supposed to be i think um old baby alicia's memories right but in this version this is supposed to be his alicia dark territory obsidia palace vecta has awakened yo yo budo budo is Vasago supposed to be Dark Knight Commander? What this Dark Knight is? Like a specific I account? Dark territory, here we go. Oh, 
Is everyone basically coming to welcome the awakening of our Dark Lord right now? Mountain Goblins. Oh, what are these trolls? Ogres. Okay, what the fuck about this is an ogre? These are fucking wolves. These are beast men. What, what do you mean chief of ogres? Pugilist! Yo! Osan Adventure! Newbie Adventure! If we didn't watch the most recent episode, I would be questioning what pugilist means. But we know this, right? It's the whole Colosseum. Tournaments, gladiators, fighters, pugilists. Okay, the 10th champion of the pugilist guild, Iskan. All right. Bunch of fighters here. Assassin's Guild. All right. Interesting. A lot of different factions. Oh, dark territory. This is hype. A lot of baldies here, man. Dark mages, dark mages. So, like, what is he thinking right now? Because, like, if I was him, I'd be like, shit. I know that I wanted a god account, but now they're expecting me to actually act as their king. Like, I need to give a speech. Like, fuck. <laughs> shit. Like, <laughs> wouldn't you think he's like, hmm, I didn't realize that everyone gathered in a room like this, and now I gotta give a fucking speech? Well, shit. Does anyone here know who Alice is? Head of the Commerce Guild. Okay. Emma's brother in Skimishi Moonlit Fantasy, bro! Dark mages, man. <laughs> D.I.L. Huh? And she is the girl that was hinted last episode, right? About how she's unlocked the secrets of, like, immortality. Like, Quinella? Okay, this guy's a knight commander. Your souls, Arisu. <laughs> My lord, you've awoken from your slumber. What is it you desire? Blood and terror, flames and destruction, death and screams. That's so edgy. <laughs> Yo, this voice actor actually researched the gacha character that he's gonna play. He knows the lore. Cause like, obviously you need to compel the Dark Territory people with an actual plot and lore that makes sense. So he's like, the Western land are full of the powers of the gods who expelled me from the heavens. So he's like, he read up on the script, okay. The Priestess of Light who appeared at the same time in that land, nothing else. Priestess of Light? That's not Alice, is it? Ooh! I'm like, where the fuck? I thought everyone was like, uh, you're not Vecta. I thought everyone was about to fucking be like, who is this guy? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah! oh, the fuck the Eums, man. <laughs> everyone is down to fuck, dude. Um, but I think that of all the factions, of course, these are the ones that wants peace. But I don't think anyone's gonna listen, bro. Like, you guys are just on the fucking wrong side, man. Also, where's Vasaho? Where did he go? What was that look? Vecta's look. So, already, there's tension between these two, right? Because he already questioned what your intent is, but... Mr. Miller maybe realized that, hmm, this guy might get in my way. <laughs> or he's looking at the Dark Mage, you know? Maybe he's looking at the Dark Mage booba right now, but I think it's more of Dark Berkeley here. Yeah, me too, Budo. 
Where were you, bro? Were you in the stands? That's right. Nice touch. It'll hurt, yeah. They want the real thing. Oh shit, they already had the laptop here. They got their own version of the laptop, just like Quinella. Oh? So, one to one acceleration right now. Yeah, 5,000 next. <laughs> Two days. Race for Alice. Can't reset accounts. If you or Vasago dies in there, you can never use the superpowered accounts again. Well, I didn't even think that they would die. And if they did, then they couldn't return. But basically, you have one chance with this god account. Don't fuck it up. Hmm. Interesting. So, like, if they do lose to us, they just get, like, level 1 NPC accounts. And then that will be a fitting punishment for them? Like, I, I don't know. Like, how are they going to set this shit up? Like... Maybe the conclusion of this will be us beating them and then them still being stuck in the game but with like level 1 shitty account or something. Good luck. <laughs> His favorite things. <laughs> Murder and women. Hey, cool. Bro, all, all he needs is just a little bit of murder and women, but not now. We need to lock in. No murdering, no women for now, okay? Just peace and men instead. I mean, this is your one and probably one last time you're ever going to enjoy this, you know, virtual world, Vasago. You should use this opportunity not to just taste women, but like goblins too. Like, think about how different they might feel, Vasago. Open your mind. Oh, what the fuck? Is this part of her duties? As a knight? <laughs> okay. What about Dark Berkeley, though? No. No, 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 no. Here's what I think is happening. I think she's a spy. I think that Dark Berkeley sent her in here to keep a tab on the newly awakened Lord Vecta to see what he's all about. I think that this is all just like her getting information based on her look right over here. Lies. Dark Berkeley. Oh. <laughs> oh! Assassin! <laughs> She can't snitch! Because they have ulterior plans to maintain peace with the human world, but this guy is, you know, accelerating the insane plot. They have good intentions, but on the wrong side, man! Oh! No! Oh my god! Yo! Mr. Miller is not here to fuck around. Dark Fanatio lasted two episodes? She No, it's like a it's like an episode and a half. She just showed up last time and now she just choked to death? Taste her soul, Mr. Miller. Oh my god. Why do you need to do this? Like, come on, she already did. And now you're gonna do fan service with the corpse? You gonna do fan service with the fucking corpse? A1 Pictures is just unhinged. A1 Pictures is 
I, I mean, we've seen Rios and Humbert. That episode, episode 10 of season 3. Like, come on. Like, of course they're going to do this shit. It's just... What the fucking corpse? You're going to shoot the hands like this? Freaky ass studio, man. Oh. Wait. I've never seen a soul appear out of the head like this. But Mr. Miller has seen this IRL? Oh shit, the backstory, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. He's gonna cut her head off. Because oh! <laughs> he wants to see the soul in her head. What is that ant supposed to represent, bro? What, what is the imagery of the ant on the ground here meaning? That Mr. Miller sees this girl as a fucking ant, just a tool to experiment on? Oh my god. That's so fucked. And like, this is not a grown adult doing it. It's a, it's a, it's a kid. It's a fucking kid doing this like... You know what they say? That like the most common, um pattern that we see in serial killers is that when they're children they like experiment with animals right they'll be killing animals and doing fucked up shit he skipped that part he said i'm gonna go right into human experimentation what do you see here man do you see her soul in the forehead again so like this guy is so special that he can actually see a soul is what I'm getting. Because in game, he saw the soul. But IRL, he also sees it. Meaning, he's not a regular human. Either he's delusional and schizophrenic and he's seeing this shit, or like, he has these powers. And he can just see the fucking soul come out of the head if he kills. Your soul will be so sweet. Now, can you read that shit too? Now, what happens? Damn, look at that pool, man. Look at that background. What? What the fuck? He's so happy. Look how happy he is, bro. Look how happy and excited he is. So, he saw the vision that the soul is. Because, like, what was the vision? The vision was these different scenery from a bird's eye view as the soul left her body, right? Look at the soul. It's leaving, and it's going to the sky, right? The soul is, like, going up. And now you're seeing, like, an aerial view of the city. And he can, like, see from the perspective of that soul leaving. And that's Alicia's soul. Like, what the fuck is going on? He has these powers, huh? I want to meet I Remember, your soul will be so sweet. He eats this shit. And now what's he gonna see? What if he just gets a scene of like Dark Berkeley just like just pounding Dark Fanatio? Like this that the vision he sees is just in bed. What do you see, bro? <laughs> no! No! He's actually seeing it! He, he, this this is <laughs> She. That's what it feels like to be a woman on her knees, ready to serve the man. What? What? Okay. okay, important pseudoscience mechanics. The light cube housing, remember, there is this huge, huge cube that has all the light cubes that Dark Fanatio's light cube was part of, right? Connected to my own flux light through the STL, okay, okay, okay. But did a fragment of the quantum data get misdirected to me through its circuits, as in the soul being able to be eaten by bro and him experiencing some of her 
life, I guess. Yeah, you yeah, I know you like experimenting, bro. I can tell. You love getting on your knees for Dark Berkeley in that flashback. So like he couldn't do this before? Like when he was a kid he could, but he couldn't after he's a grown-up? It sounds like he lost that power, right? It sounds like when he was a kid, he was able to eat these souls and see their experiences, but he lost that. And now, in this game, he has that power back. <laughs> Again, the funniest shit here is how he's on top of her. Like, he's riding her. Like, <laughs> it's just funny. It's just, this whole scene is hilarious. He's like riding her and he's so happy about the memory. If I got so much out of a woman. Like... Oh shit, dude. This is actually so funny. Your soul will be so sweet. <laughs> it started off very disturbing. Then it just got hilarious. It's just funny at this point. Like, it was very disturbing. When he killed the kid, but like seeing how he experienced Dark Fanatio, <laughs> of all the memories, he, he it's the one where she's like making love to him. Like that's crazy. What are we doing? Exact same cut pasted shit. You are totally master. Go Suspicious about him, right? So say no jida yuri, Jinkai Tsuini Tsukio to steer. Yami no gozoku no gunze wa mina, Jinkai no daishi, Jinkai o sugo suru sego kishidawa, teda rezoruida, Kochiraga kazu de oskiriba, ochita toki, Kochira ni dorodo no songai ga de de iruka, sozo motsuka. Sono kekka, Kokai yo emi o shinei, Gozoku biodo no yakujo mo kegai kasurudaro, So nareba, sorewa sakenak de anaranai.我々は和平を結ばねばならないのをベルクーリ。あの男なら間違いなく和平の申し出を奥さんを望む皇帝ベクタを切らねばならない。時に夕べ探検を神に隠してな。いや、あれはあれはナイツトゥ。資格を差し
Dark Mage should fan service in midair. Thank you. <laughs> Like, I understood the imagery of his, like, light, like, fluxter, like, like, the flux light, right? But then, like, I've never seen a mechanic where he just, like, people just go berserk like this. Like, they're just, I don't, this is the first time I've ever seen this. How powerful is he right now? Everyone's so scared. Holy shit! But Vector has a god account! Yo, where's Dick at? Oh shit. Did just, this is like the HSR trailer. This is just like the Black Swan Acheron trailer. Where Black Swan wants to know what's within Acheron. And as she goes in, she realizes, oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. This is within Mr. Miller, just pitch black. No. Your soul will be so sweet. <laughs> this man cannot be slain with the vengeful sword. Because this man's soul is alive and yet dead at the same time. It is such a fucked up corrupt soul that it's neither alive nor dead. How do you then save it? By embracing him with love? Like, it's the same thing of like, how do you kill that which has no life? And we're like, oh shit, I don't fucking know. <laughs> well, you gotta like, purify it. Like, if you approach this like, Beyblade, you know, Ryuga, power of darkness, right? You gotta like, have power of happiness, positivity, you know? Give Mr. Miller some head pads and <laughs> maybe he'll, he'll, he'll be purified. Moonen. I guess Knight's Commander is done too. Knight's Commander, Lipia, both gone. Dark Berkeley, Dark Fanatio, done. I thought they'd be important characters. Nah, they over. Vecta just killed both of them. Oh shit now, no one wants to compete against him. And this is where Vasago enters. Because I'm like, he's a Dark Knight too, but it's like, where is his ranking? Because like, you know, Dark Berkeley exists. Now he can go in, right? Yes, sir. The team morale is pretty... Everyone's just terrified of Vecta. Banzai! Banzai! Woo! Banzai! Hika! post credit scene! We're at the Eastern Gate. The gate that's holding it. The wall! Destroyed at the last stage. At the last stage of the full load test. Because we want to see what happens, right? That's their final, you know, round of the simulation. Uh oh Oh no, the immigrants are gonna hop the border! The gate's falling down! Run! I love how the sky is just split. Like, as soon as the gate crosses, it's just red, right? Like, the blue sky just, like, ends right here. Then it's red sky. We're cooked, man. If they attack, we got no forces to fight against them. Honestly, we should have just let Quinella do her thing. Kirito really destabilized this place and basically fucked off. Quinella at least had a solution. Like, Quinella could have fought against them. And the shitty humans could have gotten rid of. But, like... Kirito has just turned to a vegetable after fucking up humanity's last chance against the Dark Territory. What are we gonna do? I don't know. And that's today's episode. Today's episode was introducing the Dark Territory and what Mr. Miller is all about. Mr. Miller is fucked up. From a young age, he was fascinated with the concept of souls and whether or not a being can exist without their body like an insect. The point he fucking killed Alicia. And then, as a child, he had this ability to take in the soul and see it from their experience, and that's what fascinated him. He's in the pursuit of other people's souls because he himself cannot feel anything. 
Dark Berkeley said it better on why he does this. <laughs> kind of funny though, when he took in Dark Fanatio and all her memories was, you know, getting intimacy <laughs> with the captain. And then, and then, bro is like, oh, this shit's so peak. As he's on top of Fanatio, like he's riding her, bro. Like, this is just like so... Is it trying to be funny? I, I honestly can't tell if I'm just like the only one finding this funny because of my stupid humor or if A1 Pictures is intensely trying to make this funny. I don't know. It's just fucking hilarious to me. We know of the different factions in the Dark Territory. But I think the most important factions definitely is the Dark Mages. The Assassinations Guild is pretty cool. But Dark Berkeley and Fanatio immediately disposed of. And as he said, right? His soul is alive and dead at the same time. It's devoid of any humanity. How do we kill that which has no life? I'm not really sure, man. That's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.